Now listen guys, today I want to ask him the mega question. Poirier versus McGregor 3. What do you think is going to happen? Um, I think McGregor is very good in rematches. And I think he's going to have uh, the victory. McGregor? Yeah. Guys, what wrong? Is he going to win? I think he's going to... Mm -hmm. Probably going to win the second round. Second and round. Guys, if George picked McGregor, my official pick was 50-50 odds. I think it'd go either way. But because GSP picked McGregor, I gotta pick Poirier. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make a case for Poirier right now. <laughs> I think Poirier at 155, McGregor's power is maybe not exactly what it used to be, and he's gotta do five rounds. I think Poirier showed in round in, in fight number two. He's smart enough to take McGregor in the later rounds. And you know what? In round one, he took a big left and he took it well. I think psychologically now Poirier is a bit more ready to take that left hand. And he know he's more aware about it. Guys, I think this is an incredibly difficult fight 50-50, but if George picked McGregor, I gotta pick Poirier. And I'm thinking <laughs> Poirier is gonna take him in round three and he's gonna do the same thing he did before. He's gonna kick the leg, he's gonna injure McGregor a little bit on the leg, and then he's gonna put the hands on him, it's gonna be a trench war, and Poirier is gonna put him away. I think uh McGregor bulldozer will, will, will go through. Uh, Sniper's going to win in round two, he's saying. The sniper's going to win in round two. Okay, another question I have for you, George. Jake Paul, he beat Ben Askren. Were you expecting that? Yeah, I I, I thought he would have win. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. I, I know because uh, I know people that was training uh, in the same gym as him, and uh, they told me that he was uh, training training very hard, and uh, you know, even though he doesn't Jake have Paul, it, Jake Paul's yeah, training. training, Jake Paul was training very hard, and I know that Ben Askren, because I trained with Freddie Roach, only went for a week at Freddie Roach, and he was, was not doing great, you know? Okay, well, can, can Jake Paul beat Tyrone Woodley? That's my question, my last question for you. He could, he could, definitely. Uh, it's a different sport, it's not, in MMA, I would say no, but no. In, 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 uh, in a boxing, he's, he's much bigger than Tyrone Woodley, uh, and also, he, he trained very hard. You know, like I'm not saying that's what's gonna happen, but I think, uh, you know, like he, he definitely can do it. I think, um, I think uh, Jake Paul uh, deserves respect. Yeah, I'm not yeah. one. Of, I'm not one of the either. And he actually is a very nice guy. I'm, uh, I'm happy he made all that money. Yeah, it's yeah, good. Yeah, it's gonna raise the roof for everybody. I like, but I, I think we have to respect him as a fighter because he knocked out Ben Askren, and Ben Askren has been in there with Tigers. You know, he. Nobody's ever knocked him out like that before. 